Good afternoon, and welcome to Linda's Zoo Plants for You. We are located in this beautiful state of Wisconsin, although it's not so beautiful today. It's another cloudy, dreary day. The sun was supposed to be out today, but, well, I guess it was for a little while, but it's not anymore. So we're going to go ahead anyway and shoot the video, and hopefully you'll still enjoy it. This um, video is going to be mostly the dining room area of my home um, that I've been promising for a while. I'm starting out at the, this is actually my kitchen wall that separates the kitchen from the dining room. And I just wanted to sneak that in there. Um, this shelf... <clears throat> Um, primitive as it is, was something my husband made for me when we first moved in here. Um, well, we didn't live here very long, maybe a year or two, and um, at the time I was a very big crafter, and I came across this bakery in a magazine um, with the instructions on how to make it, and make it I did, um, but I didn't have anywhere to display it when it was done so my husband got the idea the to make the shelving unit <clears throat> we had some old lumber laying out in the back and it was wet and full of snow so he dried it out and made some measurements up and threw up the shelf and it's been there ever since and what you're looking at is um, right here is my golden pothos come on focus please thank you um, and that's doing very well. And then underneath there is the bakery that I was referring to. Um, it's a little sparse now. Through the years, the grandchildren have helped themselves to some things because it, I guess it was un, uh, irresistible, right? <clears throat> um, it used to have a little cafe style curtain up on the top, and uh, that's actually in the process of being remade now. But anyway, this is this is what it is. Little loaves of bread and pretzels and pies and things. And then underneath there are my grandmother's canisters. And that's my grandmother. I was very close to. You've heard about her before in past videos. <clears throat> Okay, so anyways, moving along and getting back to the plants. Um, in the doorway here, and let me see if I can zoom back out without making you dizzy. In the doorway <clears throat> between the kitchen and dining room, um, my husband installed these plant holders or pot holders for me. And I am waiting for those plants to grow up and get long and trail around this whole opening. That is the um, Philodendron Brazil. It's a cutting from, from that. <clears throat> and then on the other side is just a heart leaf Philodendron. And then walking into the room you will see um, <clears throat> I have two Hartley philodendrons on either side of my elephant um, painting and for those of you that have watched previous videos you know how much I Love. I collect elephants, and so there is that. And then I have this corner unit. On the top is some fake grape ivy. It's the only fake plant you'll ever see in my house. I don't, I don't like fake plants, um, but I didn't like the harshness of the top of that, so I softened it up with that uh, because we've had the. The wine theme 
um, Tuscan theme going on for many years and um, I have talked about changing that and uh, going to be doing that one of these days as well but in the meantime it's got the uh, the Tuscan look <clears throat> this shelf I have one small plant on the top there you can see in the corner is a philodendron I'm sorry it's a golden pothos cutting and I use this also for other cuttings but I don't have any going on right now on that shelf in particular and then next to that of course I've got a couple of pictures that I framed that my husband took when he was stationed in um, Italy <clears throat> below that is a stand that he found and my husband is He's really awesome at finding things and picking things out and sometimes he'll see something on the side of the road and he'll grab it. Um, I'm not sure what the location was of this particular sand. It might have been at a scrapyard, but it's it's really kind of a cool stand. And hey, it's free. And those shelves on there are actually glass and they lift up. So if you choose to have a taller plant on it, you can lift the shelf up so it's um, vertical instead of horizontal and it makes more room. And on that shelf I have a tiny tiny cactus cutting that is barely making it. And down there is a Sansevieria pup as well as Next to that is another stand that my husband made, and I think I featured this in, other, in another video. Um, this was actually, uh, I, I'm not sure of the base of this. I think it was a lamp, an antique lamp. And then, of course, the wrought iron, the twisted wrought iron that he had. And then this basket we found at a thrift store, and that heart that's on the back of that was actually a one big piece that went over the basket. And he reconfigured it and welded it to the back. Isn't that something? He's so talented. I feel so blessed to have him because if I come up with an idea myself, he can always fabricate it and very often will make it even better than I imagined it in my head. <clears throat> and this plant, when I got it, I got it at the grocery store at Pick and Save, which is now Kroger. And it was much shorter and smaller and I actually featured this in another very short video. If you go back through my videos, you'll see a picture of it on the front. And I was trying to find out what it was because I, I recognized it as a blue prince. Or I'm confused now. Was it black prince? Black, not blue. I'm sorry. Black prince. <clears throat> and when I looked up the care on this, there was actually a black knight as well. And I couldn't see much difference between the two except one seemed to have a little more pointier leaves than the other. So I was hoping maybe someone would um, perhaps um, leave a comment if someone knew, but I have not heard anything, so I'm still kind of in a dilemma about that. But anyway, moving along, here is the end of it, which I thought in the beginning might be stems for flowers. I thought it was going to flower, but that wasn't the case. It was just a long, a long stem that rooted itself. And it's got all kinds of new babies coming on the stem, which is kind of cool. Okay. Next to that is my <clears throat> uh, Bird of Paradise White. I've had this plant for quite some time. And it 
really isn't doing much. It's growing a little bit. Uh, the other room that I had it in, it was it did produce some new leaves for me this year. So I was encouraged by that. But <clears throat> I don't think it was getting enough light back there. So I brought it in this room and I am hoping that it is going to take off and get big and huge like it's supposed to and maybe someday I'll get the white flower on it. <clears throat> um, this is my praying hands plant, my marantha. And I had this in my living room in the south window and then we had a family member move back home and I had to rearrange things a little bit and I had to move it out from where I had it. Well, uh, it almost died. <laughs> I was down to like six or seven leaves and I'm not sure why that was or what happened but it didn't, it was not happy and I really thought I was going to lose the plant completely. Well, <clears throat> my husband suggested I had I had repotted it on the dining room table in this room and I had left it there for a couple of days and I started to notice new growth. And my hubby said, why don't you just leave it there for a while and see what happens? So I did and I kept getting more and more new growth. So I said, well, let's find a way to to keep it in this room. So that's what we did. He put some hooks up under my um, under my curtains up there. Those are cafe style curtains so they stick out a little bit. I made those years ago as well. Um, and up underneath there there's two there's a hook on each side where this wire is connected to which is holding this um, this long planter. But anyways as you can see <clears throat> I have a whole bunch of new growth. Look at the color. Isn't it beautiful? And there's new shoots. And it's so full. So we're just going to leave it here. <clears throat> and hopefully it will start to trail down like it did before. And like I said, it was good foot and a half, maybe two feet long, the whole width of the planter. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, this plant back here I thought was from the Kale and Coey family, um, but I did find another one that's very similar to that. And so now I'm not sure what it is. If anybody else knows, please let me know. And this plant was not doing well when I first got it and now it's taken off like crazy and behind that I've got my little cactus that's where I got the cutting off of Opuntia this cactus seems harmless when you touch it it doesn't hurt but what you don't realize is there it's getting little teeny tiny almost microscopic slivers in your skin that tend to fall down in the soil and I found that out the hard way and it takes a long time for those to go away so that's not something you want to have around little children next to that <clears throat> you can't even see it's so small there is a tiny little stem in there somewhere there it is that is the result of a um, lemon seed I purchased um, some organic lemons and I saved the seeds and I was trying to see if I could grow a tree from it but it's not doing very well but it is still green so I haven't given up hope and next to that um, some of you may have watched my propagation video on string of pearls and I did feature this in that video and again folks there is no trick to these plants. <clears throat> if you keep the top of that soil where the sun can hit it or the light can hit it so that they don't rot out, you shouldn't have any trouble growing this plant. It likes to be moist um, but not wet and it will rot if you make it too wet. 
<clears throat> then moving over is my I think breathtaking Hartley philodendron. I absolutely love this plant. It has given me so much joy. It is so full and it goes all the way down to the ground. And that planter is another plant, another um, creation that my husband made that I think is just beautiful. It is the bottom of an antique lamp and I believe that that um, middle part there, the twisted part, was part of that lamp. I'm not positive, but I think it was. And then up in the top, I don't know if you can see. I'm going to move over here. That is the um, holder that he made that is attached to the floor piece. And that houses the pot. And he made it big enough so that I can um, put a bigger pot in when the time comes. Which is, that's going to need pretty soon actually. <clears throat> I'm quite sure if I pull that plant out of there it's going to be root bound. So we'll be looking at that before the summer is out. But just look. Oh, it's just, it's so pretty. I just love this plant. And then behind there is my lipstick plant, which is growing very well. Next to that is the Kalanchoe Tomentosa Panda. That's a cutting. I have quite a few of those. And next to that is the elephant bush, and that's been the same for I don't know how long. I cannot get that to grow. And lastly behind there is my jade plant, which is doing also very well. In the corner, and I'm calling this my begonia corner. Um, some of you may have watched my um, video on that. This all came, started with one little tiny plant that was not doing well that I brought home in the middle of winter. Um, I think it was last winter, yes. Um, not not this year, not not a few months ago, but a year ago. And brought it back to life. And this is where it came from. And this was just a tiny plant that wasn't doing well that I bought at Stein's. And I brought it back to life and I took a cutting. That's one of them. And below that, <clears throat> there are, <clears throat> excuse me, three other cuttings, all from that plant. And then, this is another begonia, of which I do not have the name off the top of my head. <clears throat> and this one as well that I just purchased recently. And it's doing pretty good. The table is an antique table. I <coughs> bought from an antique store. <coughs> Excuse me, but it was only $20 because it, and the antique value is pretty much gone. The bottom feet are in very bad shape. But I didn't buy it for its antique value. I bought it to put plants on, so we don't care. And then moving into the south window, as you can see back there, is a tiny little succulent. I'm not very good at those. I think it's from the Sedum family, but I'm not sure. This is a 
Um, <clears throat> name escapes me right now, and I know that like the back of my hand. Pepperonia. Pepperonia family. <laughs> um, this plant had some kind of fungus. And that was probably a year ago now. But I treated it with one part rubbing alcohol and five parts water. Or four parts water, I'm sorry. So there were five parts total. Um, and I sprayed it and washed it and repotted it. And then a couple of days later, I sprayed it again and wiped it down. And I just kept taking care of it until that was gone. And luckily, it did disappear. And I got that, and I have another one over on the other windowsill from that plant. So I was so happy that I could save that. And then this is another Calancholi Tomentosa. This is a chocolate soldier. And it's growing really well. And another, what I believe to be from the sedum family. And this is my Aglionema, otherwise known as Chinese Evergreen. This broke off of my main plant in my living room. And I am currently trying to root it in water. I'm not sure if I'm going to be successful, but we're going to give it a try. And then up here, we have my pink polka dot plant, which was not doing well at all in this room. I moved it over from the east window to the south window and it took off like crazy. <clears throat> Let me see if I can zoom out here. Um, there we are. And as you can see, it had some <clears throat> pieces that hung over. Um, but I lost those, I think, during those cold, that last cold spell that we had. Um, <clears throat> I don't think this is going to make it. I may have to cut those off, but <clears throat> just look at the color. It's such a cheerful looking plant. <clears throat> And here is another stand, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> that my husband made. And this one, the bottom of it was from an antique fan. And he bolted and or welded this twisted wrought iron. And these two pieces... This piece and this piece were separate from from se different two different thrift stores. And this one is bolted on to the base. And I believe the top piece is welded on to the other piece. So see what I mean? He's just, he's so handy with things. And I just love these stands that he makes me. <clears throat> Then this is a cart from Menards. Um, it's a flower cart, and I've had it for, gosh, it's got to be all of 30 years, maybe more, that he bought me for my birthday or Christmas. We were rehabbing our house, and we were at Menards to get supplies, and they had this during Christmas time. And I absolutely fell in love with it. And he surprised me one day and gave it to me for a gift. And I just love it. The only drawback to this is it sits quite low to the ground. So it's hard for me to get the sun on the plants that are housed inside of it. Right now I've got the Kalanchoe, um And there's a red one, a yellow one, and an orange one. Um, and the only one in bloom right now is the yellow. But I like it. And then <clears throat> getting toward the end here, we've got, uh, this is another uh, pepperoni, pepperomia.
I love the variegation. And then this is part of that plant that I showed you earlier that had the fungus, which is now doing really, really well. So yay, it worked. Another Kalanchoe cutting. <clears throat> and this is a cutting from my Marble Clean Pothos. And I make a lot of cuttings because my daughter and, and two granddaughters and grandson now all do like plants. So I make a lot of cuttings for them. This is another find. This stand my husband brought home. The legs were crooked and there was no bottom on it. So he made the bottom and it's very sturdy now. And on the bottom you can see it. My uh, one of my other jades is living down there, and this is uh, emerald gem I've had for a while. This one I'm a little concerned about because I'm I'm getting yellow leaves, and I'm not sure what is happening with this. I feel like it's in trouble, but I don't know what's wrong. It doesn't have bugs, <sighs> so. I may have to do some investigating, but it's a beautiful plant otherwise. And almost to the end, <clears throat> there is another peace lily. I love these plants. <clears throat> and as you can see, it's flowering. And the leaves on this plant are so healthy and so big. And last but not least, <clears throat> this plant I it's a euphorbia. It started out with two plants. And it's kind of funny what happened. When my family member moved back home, I put this in my office, which is on the other end of my house. It's on the north end of my home, and it doesn't get any light. And I put it back there temporarily, and I forgot to water it. Um, there was just so much going on at the time. And by the time I it, it dawned on me, oh my gosh, my goodness, I didn't, I forgot about that plant. Um... I actually had to dust it off, believe it or not. So I cut it down. I thought, well, let's see if I cut it and just stick it back down in the soil and the stones if it would root, and they did. So that's what I did. So now I have quite a few, and it looks like it could actually use a, another cutting because it's getting awfully tall. And then... A long time ago, I did see a video where there was a dish inside a dish like this setup that you see. And I thought, oh, that would look nice in something like that. So that's what I did. I took a, I went and got the, the bottom, the bigger one. And I put some soil in there, not much. And then a lot of, um, that's river rock in there that I bought at Lowe's. <clears throat> and... I added some of the mini, I think they were called pixie plants. Just to give it a little more interest. <clears throat> and my husband <clears throat> has been bringing home the, the stones, the rock, that he's collecting from different areas of the state. Oh my goodness, excuse my hoarseness people. I'm so sorry for that. <clears throat> but anyway, that's that. <clears throat> this plant actually was given to me by a very dear friend, and so it has a lot of um, a good memory and a lot of meaning for me. And although it, I've seen them in much better shape, uh, this is the best that I can give it, the best light. So... But anyway, 
that's that. That is the dining room. I do have plans for this room. <clears throat> And we'll see if that comes to fruition in the future. And if it does, maybe I'll um, maybe I'll videotape it as we're doing it, and you'll get to see the transition. But for now, this is it. I hope you all enjoyed watching. I look forward to your comments as always. If you would like me to do more videos and you like this one please hit the subscribe button or the thumbs up and please don't be afraid to leave comments I love to hear from other people in the meantime I hope you all have a wonderful weekend drive safe and enjoy life bye now